making his way to the ring from Argentina, weighing in at 460 pounds, Giant Gonzalez. And with January upon us, guys, you can bet these superstars would like to get the new year off on the right foot here tonight. Of course, Michael, but the unfortunate truth is that only one of them will be able to kick the new year off with a win. And his opponents, first, at a combined weight of 457 pounds, beautiful Bobby Eaton, sweet Stan Lane, and the Midnight Express. And you can bet these superstars will be looking to kick the new year off with a win here tonight. Cole, there is no way to understate just how important it is to go into the new year with momentum on your side. And their partner from Louisville, Kentucky, weighing in at 280 pounds, Jim Corey Nick. Handicap action coming up next, and this one likely won't be pretty as it will be three against one. I just hope the medics are standing by, Cole, because there is no way this one ends without a few broken bones. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge oh. handicap match. You guys, oh, you have man. to have a screw loose or something to step into the ring with the odds this firmly against you. Woo-wee! What a strike! looks a bit off his game here. Jeez. I don't know about you, but I don't like his chances of survival here in this handicap match. Brought in the hard way. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Ooh, ah, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. I always loved a good handicap match growing up. Especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outmanned, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. Oh, 
Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. And he also made quite a name for himself competing in battle royals, as you would suspect, seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant battle royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. Hey guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, Byron, and those imposters posing as Hawk and Animal in the Legion of Doom were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Cole. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. Uh -oh. oh, nasty impact. This is it. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Ron Strowman. But I don't think... Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Double underhook, suplex. Careful not to get disqualified. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, let's say he won the majority of them. Yeah, he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here we go. Ooh, but he's got to capitalize now. We oh, that was a long way down. That changes the entire complexion of this match. Now, that's how you prove your dominance. Took him out at the knee. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. That six-on-one match Byron brought up earlier actually could have even been more lopsided. If you remember, it was originally supposed to be seven-on-one, but John Cena was able to take Darren Young out of the equation when he injured him the week prior. Well, you know what? He should have kept taking Nexus members out because even without Darren Young, the Nexus was able to accomplish their goal that night, defeat John Cena. It. What a stomp! Good grief! Wow! That won't separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. Oh, a knee right to the face! That knee is a lethal weapon. I don't know how much more of this he can take. This might just be the end of the road for him here in this handicap match. At this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? Running hip attack, what impact. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Too quick for him there. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, you're just asking to get disqualified. Well, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, he's looking at it. DDT! That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be... Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Going for... You gotta believe this one's over. I'm not sure how much he has left. To Corey's point, Hannah, here he goes. Hit drop. This one's over, guys.
One on one is hard enough, but this, this is just ridiculous. He's looking at it. That should do it. Wow, that should be the fun. That should do it right there. Two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Giant Gonzalez. I'm not so sure that's what we expected from this handicap match. I got a feeling they're going to be talking about this win for a while. And talk about getting the new year off on the right foot. Wow, that match was incredible.